Hello everyone, I'm Anne from English Valley Cafe. Welcome. I'm sure you click because you want to know what are the differences between America and some of the other countries. So today I'm going to talk about some things that I have noticed from working with students online. And I think these are really important to understand or to be aware of, regardless if you are traveling as a tourist in America, or maybe you work with uh, clients or you have colleagues from the U.S. or perhaps you're living in the U.S. yourself. So I hope that this video will help you to be more open-minded and to be a little bit more careful when you are interacting with Americans. All right, let's get started. So number one, if someone sneezes out in the public, it's a polite thing to say, bless you, bless you. So regardless where you are, maybe you're on a plane, maybe you're at a store, um, on a train, anywhere. It's just a polite gesture to um, show your kindness and say, bless you. Now, if you sneeze and someone says, bless you, then just say, thank you. Number two, and that is to give some space between you and the other person. So I noticed that when I, um, at the grocery store or sometimes at some, you know, events that foreigners tend to like to stand really close to the person next to them or in front of them. And in America, we just, you know, people here like to have their space. They like to have some privacy. So, you know, especially if you are at a grocery store or maybe you're at a bank and you're waiting in line um, because you know when you're at the bank, sometimes there's some confidential information um, like maybe um, ID numbers or you know certain not things that people want to keep confidential. They don't want other people to see it, of course. So um, just keep in mind that when you are traveling, when you are in the U.S., trying to give some space between you and the other person um, in front of you. Now, I know sometimes it's hard, like if you are maybe on a train or, you know, on a public transportation when it's really crowded, then um, that's an exception. But in general, just trying to give some space between you and the other person. All right, number three, that is using the middle finger to point at things. So as you all know that in the U.S., middle finger is used when you are really angry at someone. When you're really frustrated at someone, you want to flip them off, then you use the middle finger. So um, it's, you know, some people might get offended if you don't mean it, but you use the middle finger to point at things. So I've noticed that, you know, when um, people are maybe pointing at a paper or maybe on a computer screen, they tend to use the middle finger. Um, and this is just a cultural thing, once again, um, you know, because in the U.S., using the middle finger can be offensive. It can offend people. Um, so trying to avoid using the middle finger when you are pointing at things. You can always use the um, index finger or, you know, you can just use your hand and just say over there. Um, but yeah, try to avoid using the middle finger when you're pointing and referring to things. All right, number four, that is using the clock. So in America, we use the 12-hour clock system, while other countries use the 24-hour clock system. So I remember when I first started teaching online, I was working with a lot of international students, and they would tell me like, 14 o'clock or 15 o'clock and I wasn't used to it because we don't say it like that. So if it's past noontime, let's say 14 o'clock, we would say 2 p.m. or 2 in the afternoon. Okay, so we use p.m. once it's past 12 o'clock noon, then we use p.m. Um, or in the afternoon, in the evening. All right, so that's something to keep in mind. The next one is the measurement system. So again, America is just different. We just like to be different from the other countries. So in the US, we use the imperial system. So for a lot of measurements, like if we're measuring the length of something, we use inch. 
Um, for cars, like if we want to drive how fast the car is traveling, we use miles. Um, for the weight of something, like I can say, oh, this is um, 16 ounce or one ounce, no, 16.9 ounce. Um, so we use ounce when we are talking about um, the weight of something um, or pounds. Um, I know that in other countries, they use centimeters or kilometers. Um, so this is a little bit different from how the Americans use it. So beware of this next time if you're talking to an American that um, there is this difference. All right, the next one is really important and that is greetings. So when you see someone like a friend, usually people will hug each other, like give each other a little warm, friendly hug. Or um, for guys, they like to do a fist bump, um, you know, as a way to say hi. Um, so these are some of the different ways that we greet each other in the U.S. Now, I know in some countries, you know, you give a little kiss on the cheek. Um, but yeah, this is the um, greeting style in America so that, you know, if someone doesn't give you like a kiss, don't feel offended. Or, you know, if you want to give a kiss to somebody, know that, you know, they might feel a little bit awkward or uncomfortable because in America, generally we'll, you know, give each other like a friendly hug. Um, hugs, it can be like between, um, you know, two female friends or even if it's like a guy and a girl, you know, if they're just a good friend, they can also give each other a friendly hug when they see each other. So, um, yeah, but for guys, the manly greeting, usually they'll give like a fist bump. All right. So that's the way that, um, Americans greet each other. All right, the next one is don't ever, ever, never, ever, okay, unless you know the person really well and you know that they are comfortable telling you this information. Otherwise, don't ever ask somebody about their age, like how old are you, or their marital status, like are you married, are you single? Okay, well, maybe if you're trying to, um, you know, pursue someone, maybe. And also, um, they're uh, girls. For girls, don't ever ask them about their weight. Don't talk about their weight, okay? These are um, generally really sensitive questions to a lot of people. And sometimes some people will feel offended if you ask these questions, especially if you don't know them and you're trying to get to know the person. So um, I know that on my Facebook page, on my Instagram page, I always get questions like, oh, where are you from? Are you married? Um, you know, how old are you? Okay, so try to avoid these questions because like, if I get those kind of questions, even if you are really genuine, you're sincere, you're trying to ask me to help you with English, if I get those questions, my first thought would be like, hmm, you know, I'll think twice, especially if you're asked like, oh, how old are you? Are you married? It's like, Huh, are you trying to, you know, ask me out on a date or something? <laughs> okay, so don't ever ask these questions to um, someone that you don't know, and especially, you know, to um, strangers like you meet somewhere in public. Especially if you're trying to, you know, start a small talk, these would not be good topics to talk about. All right, so I hope that this video will give you a little bit better idea about some of the differences between America and your country, um, about some of the things that you should, you know, pay attention to or just be uh, cautious when you are traveling in the U.S., when you're living in the U.S., or if you're just interacting with somebody from the U.S. And that's it for this video. I hope you find it useful. Please share it with anybody that you know that are traveling to the U.S. or maybe working with people um, from the U.S. And I will see you back here next week for a new lesson.